Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you really simple and easy way to factor completely these given binomial. And here is our very first example. We want to factor completely x power 3 plus 27. As we can see that 27 could be written as 3 power 3, isn't it? So we can write this thing as x power 3 plus 3 power 3. And we can see that this is sum of two cubes. So we will be using this formula that is also a sum of cube a power 3 plus b power 3 equals to a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square so here i this is our a and this is our b then we can simply expand this one we can factor this one out rather so that is going to be simply x plus 3 times then this is our a square means that is going to become x square and then minus x times b is 3 and then plus 3 square and that let's simplify that one that's going to give us x plus 3 times x square minus 3x plus 9 and these are our complete factors and thus here are our complete factors and that is our answer and here is our next example 125 x power 3 minus 1 so let's go ahead and manipulate it a little bit 125 could be written as 5 power 3 and then leave this x power 3 as it is and then 1 could be written as minus 1 power 3 that means I can write this one simply 5x power 3 minus 1 power 3 and this tells us that we got a difference of 2 cubes so we are going to use this fact the difference of two cubes a cube minus b cube equals to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square that means this is our a and this is our b so let's go ahead and apply that formula so that is simply is going to become so we are going to factor out that is becomes 5x minus 1 times this is a square means that 5x square plus rather 5x times 1 and then plus 1 square and let's simplify and that would be pretty much it 5x minus 1 Time that is going to give us 25x square plus 5x plus 1 and these are our complete factors so thus our complete factors are right up here and these are our answers and here is our next example we are going to factor completely 27x power 3 plus 64y power 3. So let's go ahead and manipulate a little bit. So 27 can be written as 3 power 3. And I'm going to leave this x power 3 as it is. Likewise, plus 64 could be written as 4 power 3. That means 4 times 4 times 4. And then I am going to leave this y power 3 over here. And as you can see, this could be written as 3x power 3 plus 4y power 3. And this represents the sum of two cubes. 
So therefore, we are going to be using this formula, this fact a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square. That means this 3x is going to behave like an a and 4y is going to behave like a b. Then we can factor this one up nicely. So this is going to become 3x plus 4y times a square means this is going to become 3x square minus a in our case is 3x times 4y plus and then b square is going to be a 4y square and let's simplify furthermore so 3x plus 4y times this 3x squared is going to become 9x squared and this one is going to become negative 12xy plus 16y squared. So thus these are our complete factors and that is our answer. And here is our next example. Factor completely 54x power 6 y power 3 minus 16 as you can see that we have something is in common between these two terms you can see 54 and 16 they have a 2 in common so I am going to move bring this 2 outside and then in this bracket is going to be 54 once we factor out 2 then we are left with 27 x power 6 y power 3 minus 8 so far so good and now over here as you can see 27 could be written as 2 3 power 3 rather isn't it and then this one x power 6 could be written as x power 2 and then power 3 and then simply y power 3 and likewise 8 could be written as 2 power 3 and still we have a 2 outside as our factor. And now let's go furthermore, we can write equal to 2 times, let's look at this very first term inside this bracket, this whole thing could be written as 3x square y power whole thing power 3 minus this is 2 power 3. And here I have copied down this whole inside the bracket part right up here. And as you can see, this represents the difference of two cubes. So therefore, we are going to be using this fact, this formula, the difference of two cubes. A cube minus B cube equals to A minus B times A square plus AB plus B square. In our case, this whole thing is going to behave like an A and this is going to be B. So then we can write this one as 3x square y minus 2 times the next factor is going to be 3x square y square and then plus 3x square y times 2 and then plus 2 square. All right. And now let's simplify furthermore. So this the first factor is going to stay same 3x square y minus 2. And then this is going to become 3x square y power 2 is going to give us 9x power 4 y square and that is going to give us plus 6x square y and then 
plus 2 square is 4. So thus on the left hand side over here 2 times this as you can see this part inside this bracket has been factored out right up here. I am going to replace this one with that. I am going to write down 3x square y minus 2 times 9x power 4 y square plus 6x square y plus 4. And thus these are our complete factors and this is our answer as you can see over here. And here is our final example. We are going to factor completely this example 3xy plus 24x power 4y. And as you can see, we have something in common. You can see 3 is in common among these 3 and 24. And x and y is common as well. So I can factor out 3xy outside. And in the bracket, we're going to have simply 1 plus 8x power 3. So far, so good. And now over here, we are going to look at the inside this bracket. 1 could be written as 1 power 3 and 8 could be written as 2 power 3. So this is what I am going to write down. So we still got 3xy outside and here I can write 1 as a 1 power 3 and then plus this is 8 could be written as 2 power 3 isn't it? 2 power 3 and then x power 3 so that could make it 2x power 3 and now inside the bracket this part I have copied down on the right hand side 1 power 3 plus 2x power 3 and this represents the sum of two cubes. So therefore we are going to use this fact, this formula a cube plus b cube equals to a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square and here this one is going to behave like an a and 2x is going to behave like a b. So then we can factor this one as 1 plus 2x times this is going to become 1 square minus 1 times 2x plus 2x square and then parentheses closed. Let's simplify it furthermore. That is going to give us 1 plus 2x and over here 1 square is same as 1 minus 2x plus 4x square. And now let's look at inside this bracket on the left hand side this 1 cube plus 2x power 3 has been factored out on the right hand side right up here. So this is what I am going to replace it over here. So 3xy and this inside the brackets could be replaced with 1 plus 2x times 1 minus 2x plus 4x square. And thus here is our complete factors as you can see and that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.